Hello friends, welcome to Concept Holic. Have you ever thought that why only steel is used as a reinforcement in concrete? Why not aluminium, copper, or any other metal or alloy? There are around 95 metals in the modern periodic table, and yet no other metal other than steel gets the privilege to get bonded with concrete. We have been told that although concrete is strong in compression, it is weak in tension, and hence it is used along with steel in RCC structures which resists the tensile forces. Well, this is one of the reasons to use steel, but not the only reason. Let us check out the 5 important properties which make steel the best partner for concrete. The first property is obviously the high ductility of steel. Steel is highly ductile in nature and hence shows initial warning before collapse. On the other hand, due to the brittle nature of concrete, it undergoes sudden failure. Due to its ductile nature, Steel can resist the tensile forces which concrete is particularly weak in. Hence, we can say that reinforced cement concrete or RCC is a composite material in which concrete's relatively low tensile strength and ductility are counteracted by the inclusion of steel having higher tensile strength or ductility. It is just the same as how partners complement the faults of their better halves. The second property is that steel is equally strong in tension as well as compression. It is a myth which people think that steel is only strong in tension but weak in compression. However, the truth is steel is equally strong in tension as well as compression. Having said that, one may argue that if steel is capable of taking both the tensile as well as compressive forces, then why not to use steel alone in structures? Well, you already know the answer to this, don't you? The third and the most important property is that the coefficient of thermal expansion of steel is the same as that of concrete and is approximately equal to 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree Celsius. This is the main reason why steel is preferred over copper and aluminium whose coefficient of thermal expansion are 16 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree Celsius and 23 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree Celsius respectively. This property prevents the breaking of bond between steel and concrete due to thermal change and avoids the development of thermal stresses. So, be it summer or winter, both steel and concrete will never have to go through the pain of breakups. The fourth property is that steel can be welded easily. The last but not the least property is that steel is easily available in nature and cheaper as compared to most of the metals. Moreover, it is one of those materials which can be recycled easily. All the five properties mentioned earlier make steel the best material to be used with concrete. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, please like the video and do subscribe to our channel for more such factual videos on civil engineering. Thank you and happy learning.